I'm an enormous fan of NASA. In the 1960s, during the Apollo era, some of the world's most iconic photographs were taken. But what we didn't realize is that a lot of them were degraded by the CIA. We are all familiar with this amazing image of Earthrise over the moon. Taken by the Apollo 8 crew in the late 1960s. But all the Apollo images have a problem. The CIA made sure that the public pictures didn't quite have the resolution that the spooks get to use. US law limits the resolution of space images to 30 centimeters per pixel. It turns out that this game has been played for a long time. In the mid-1960s, a succession of lunar orbiter vehicles took photographs of the Moon's surface in order for NASA scientists to assess decent landing spots. These were captured on 70 mm film. These NASA orbiting satellites are essentially the greatest analog photo booths ever flown. They use 70 mm film which was developed internally inside the satellite, scanned and then sent back to Earth. The pin sharp images were then stitched together into giant mosaics that NASA poured over in immense detail. However, the public never got to see anything like that. Also, the video images of the moon landings have a terrible history. They are nowhere near the quality of what was actually captured and then the original tapes were wiped. The ones made available to the public were intentionally blurred and made increasingly grainy to deliberately attempt to disguise the capabilities of the US cameras. This was the height of the Cold War after all, and the US government did not want the Russians to know how good their cameras were. They didn't want the Russians to search through the orbiter pictures to find a landing site for them. The Soviets had their own lunar lander. These images were recorded onto magnetic tape using the Ampex 900 drive. These master tapes almost got thrown away, but were discovered stored in an old McDonald's restaurant on an Air Force base. And they called the place McNasa. The Lunar Orbiter Image Recovery Project brought back 2,000 images from the 1500 analog tapes, including this, the first ever picture of Earthrise in high resolution. Truth is out there.